Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you, uh, please invite your friends and uh, I apologize I was away for a few days and it was a must uh, to do trip, it's not a choice and actually I will uh, be away for a few days again uh, after a few days, So, but just wait, I mean this is temporarily and then we will go back to normal as everywhere, always we do. Uh, today our topic is about how Muslims you know, Islam Islam is a religion of holes, you know holes? Like we heard lately, uh, Yasser Kadri, he's saying Quran, there's narrative in the, you know, holes in the narrative. But the fact all of Islam is nothing but a basket full of holes. And when you speak to Muslim about the religion, if we can call it a religion, you will see right away they give you and they create false stories. As an example, this is Mufti Monk. Is very well known person claiming to be his knowledge, knowledgeable person, and you know, uh, Mufti Monk. He uh, supposedly he is the one who can refute anyone, anyone. Uh, just uh, don't even try. The same as the rest, all of them. But the second you start listening, if you are a little bit educated, you will see how shallow, how stupid, how naive, how idiot is the one is talking. Always, all my life, when I listen to Muslim, who when I was a kid, you know. A Muslim cleric who grow beard and you you know you expect from someone who grow a beard uh, and he claim to be a sheikh that some knowledge something truthful always they fabricate stories and listen to the story this guy was invited to a Christian school it's girls, girls schools now you ask yourself first of all isn't it haram for you as a Muslim to go to girls school who they don't cover their hair I thought it's haram no it's not haram Yet he claimed to be a sheikh and he claimed to be a Salafi. And now he will tell you what happened in the school. They ask him questions. Uh, unbelievable. Remember, our topic is about there's holes in Allah's description. But just to give you an idea, introduction. How the Muslims, they fabricate stories. And so on. I said, you know, to be very honest with you, we followed to a Christian school to speak. And it was a girl's school. So I went to speak to them. And the first question they told me is, why do you have a beard? Can you believe it that somebody invited to a Christian school, the first question, why you have a beard? I mean, who in the world want to believe in such a garbage, silly, shallow, stupid story? Why you are the only man in town who have a beard? Those people, they don't have, and now later he will claim that priests, Christian priests, don't have beard. Only him, Muslims, they have beard. I'm not going to talk about my beard because I got a ticket right the other day because my beard was flying from the window of my car, blocking the highway. This is how long it is. I mean, how shallow, how stupid, how it's a comedy show, it's a mockery. It is, and you know, the Muslim, whatever you give them, they bite it. It's like, like a bunch of kids, like, <laughs> they ask you why you have a beard. <laughs> I mean, who in the world going to believe in such a garbage story? So they invite you to tell them about Islam. They're asking you about why, why you have a beard. Why do you have a beard? So I said, what do you mean? They said, no, these are Talibans. <laughs> Talibans. These are Taliban. In Nairobi, the new Taliban. Zimbabwe, the new Taliban. Christian school girls, the new Taliban. I mean, who want to believe in such a garbage? And the you know the purpose of fabricating these stories, they want to show you that Christians are stupid. You know, like psst, they are smart. <laughs> they are stupid. <laughs> Taliban is <laughs> Taliban. If they think they are Taliban, why they are inviting you to their school? As long as they knew Taliban. You see, when somebody invites somebody to his school, that means he respect him. Unless they are invited you to be a joker in the stage. Obviously you are. So Allah put it in my mind. This was a pure Christian school. You know, they had uh, idols that they have. They have idols. Just to show you the, the fabrication of the Muslim when they speak about idols. Nobody in the world worship idols as Muslims. In a Christian school, if they have a picture of Mary, they don't worship a picture. All of us, we knew. But you Muslims kiss a stone and you call it holy. 
you Muslims, you have in your Quran that Allah, he, you know, he gave uh, a guy, his name uh, Solomon, the opportunity to build synagogue full of idols. So they take what they have in their religion and they throw it at you. Is that your Quran? Or this is the Quran of uh, the one who have narrative holes, holes in the narrative. Chapter 34, verse number 13. Allah ordering his prophet to have a statues in the house of Allah, in the house of David, in the house of Suleiman. Do you see it? This is your Quran. As long as Muslims against the stack, <laughs> they have idols, they have idols. You kiss a stone, you go to a stone and you believe. If you touch a stone, you forgive your sin. And you talk about idols. We go again to the fabricated story. What this story is about? Nothing. It's just a stupid thing. They are the one who have idols. They are the one who worship idols. They are the one of people of idols. And the Kaaba is the biggest idol in the world. You see, if Allah is in heaven and Allah is God, who need to pray to a room, have a black stone, it's holy. We ask the Muslim, why you kiss the black stone? They say, because the Prophet kiss it. We ask them, why the Prophet kiss it? Because they say, because it's holy. Like what? Okay, let us repeat the question again. Why kiss the black stone? Because it's holy. Why it's holy? Because the Prophet kiss it. Why the Prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. So they invited him to a Christian school to answer questions, and he come with a false, you know, I guarantee you that he did not go to any Christian schools. All those stories are fabrication. In the beginning of this video, a woman, a Muslim woman, she was reading, saying that Islam ordered a woman to wear hijab as a modesty clothes. I know, you know what? Modesty is a big word. And what hijab have to do with modesty? Let us do a little examination for the modesty in Islam. Muslim women, they wear hijab. But how modest they are. Just yesterday, tons of Muslim women in Egypt, they've been rejected to be going in the election because they are under drug influence. And those are going to be leaders, supposedly. This is hijab, my friend. I just type one word in YouTube. All those women are wearing hijab, and this is your modesty. What modesty have to do with hijab? Actually, hijab is a very good tool to hide your identity so you do as you wish and nobody knows who you are like here we go we have those women in the video all what we see a bum a hijab a woman shaking her bum but who is she perfect this is why in the old testament it says that they clearly that women who cover themselves by a burqa they thought that they are a prostitute because this is what the prostitute used to be at that doing at that time they hide themselves so nobody knows who they are look at this this is the modesty if I play the video, you will go crazy. Shall we play it? A lot of what is they? I mean, pfft. so they want to convince you that we wear hijab and that make us modesty people. And you don't wear hijab, you don't have modesty. But I am, I grow in the Middle East, my friend. I don't see modesty between you. Your hijab is a tool of prostitution. It's not a tool of modesty. And the proof in the front of our eyes. I mean, I can click at videos endless. Look at this. Even women, they dance in the top of each other in, in a sexual way. This is modesty. And look, she's wearing, look, look how big the burqa is. Uh oh, sorry to confirm your age. I am under the age for this video. Modesty. So they, you know, they, 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 they try to fool you with the, with their answers, trying to say, oh, we are people of modesty. But what is your modesty? The biggest country of belly dancing is where? Where, where we can find it? It's Egypt. Where, where else? Turkey. Where, 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 where else? Morocco. A modesty. So 
They speak too much about the good they have, but the truth is totally the opposite. I just wanted to show you those videos, just to show you how they try to fool people, like, oh, uh, well, women, she dressed like Mother Mary. Well, Mother Mary, my friend, she was living 2,000 years ago, and people at that time, they dress in certain ways, so to cover themselves from the dust, from the dirt. Not because if she walked in the street showing her hair, she became a bad person. And what this have to do, is that Mother Mary in the front of us? And just to show you how they lie about why women, they wear hijab. Women, they wear hijab because Umar al-Khattab was spying at the wife of Muhammad, Sauda bin Tudama, and she was doing poo-poo. It is Umar who made the verses about hijab. It's not because of modesty. Little pictures and portraits and so on. I said, you know, to be very honest with you, we follow the prophets. Really? Do you follow the prophet? You are a liar. You are a liar, you have a mustache, you're a prophet, never have one. You're a prophet, he piss, sitting like a female, do you? Show us. You're a prophet, never circumcised, do you? Huh? Liars. You're a prophet, he used three stones to clean his bum, do you? Or you use twelve papers and water? Your prophet never used shampoo. Look at your beard, how it's drawn like by, by, uh, by an artist, how much money you spend on it. Your prophet used to be full of lies and fleas, do you? Your prophet used to take a shower in dead, with water, have dead dogs and, and women of blood from period, do you? We follow the prophet, which prophet? And how a man can be prophet and he is a stinky? He takes shower with dead dogs. Do you? So they say they follow Muhammad, but none of them follow Muhammad. Look at them. Even those who claim to be following Muhammad, they live in England, and you know, they are wearing jeans. You know, according to Islam, if you wear jeans, you are not a Muslim. You are you are copying the kuffar, the way you talk, the way you act, and you speak even the language, not your language. The language of a Muslim is Arabic, because Arabic is the language of the occupation, the Arab, who control anyone who became subdued to them. Islam is just a way for the Arab to control other nations. So you will find that guy, he is born in Indonesia, he speaks, Assalamu alaikum blada. Like, this is the only Arabic he knew, the rest he do not know. He recites for you a verse in the Quran, or a chapter of al fatiha which is six, seven verses, and then you die laughing, he didn't know even what he's talking about. But none of you follow Muhammad. This is Muhammad taking shower with dead dogs and women of blood different period and stinky water. And they say to him, you are taking shower with dead dogs, man. He said, oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, mm. uh, water is always pure, nothing make it impure. And this water have dead dogs, women blood from menstruation, and stinky garbage, and yet Muhammad, he believe it is clean. So what do you follow the Prophet? Look at you. Look at this picture. This guy, he took a shower with 10, ten gallons of, of, of uh, shampoo. So all of them, they claim that they are following Prophet, but what the Prophet, and what made Muhammad a Prophet, we do not know. However, we want to go to our topic today, enough with those kids. All of them, they are kids, by the way. Actually, we cannot say enough with the kids because we are going to jump to different kids. If you remember, this is a debate happened between David Wood we're and, gonna start our uh, second part. and Mimi Hijab. You know, those kids, they are mockery street kids. But they will not last a second if they have if they have a real debate. And when this kid he tried to debate me supposedly he did not do it. And instead he cut a videos which is of his sister saying filthy words about Jesus and his mother. And he played my video saying, uh, "Suckle me." 
And then I said to him in his face, the coward, I was caught in your faith, the prophet. He did not debate me, he didn't dare. And look here, the holes of the description of Allah. Who, which, we, which one, which Muslim we will believe? Me, me, fi, fi, su, su, ku, ku, du, du, who? All of them, they lie to us. The second you ask them a question about who is Allah, each one of them, he give you a different God. Literally. This is Mimi. And David, what he said to him in his uh, comment, well, your God have a body part. What uh, Fifi he said? Very ending embarrassing statements today. I mean, to be honest with you. After See, you know, those cowards, I want I want Western people to learn. When you speak to a Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern are mockery people. They are mockery by birth. You speak to them in respect, they think like because you respect them, they think you are weak. They mock you to avoid answering you. And this is the example. And today actually the mockery is giving back to them. We are laughing at them, at their lies, and everybody, how many people will leave Islam after they hear what, what we will what we'll say next? Listen. After 20 years of researching Islam, you come with this. After 20 years researching Islam, he come with this. What about you? After all your life as a Muslim, you came with this? Listen to this, what he will say. Okay, let's deal with one, one by one. He says, Allah says, uh, that Allah yusalli ala nabi and he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. There's a difference between yusalli lahu and yusalli ala in the Arabic language. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I know this is different. Yusalli lahu, yusalli ala. <laughs> Actually, he caught, he caught the David Wood, you know, uh, the one he, he, he's saying, supposedly he's correcting David This is what David Wood say. You idiot. You agreed with him. David Wood did not say he prayed for him. He says he prayed on him. And what what the difference between them? Tell us. And, you and the Muslim, they are like, ah, like what? He's not even answer yet. Okay, what the difference? This is gonna happen. <laughs> I knew I was gonna have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, teach everybody Arabic. Let us see. What's the difference between pray on him and pray for him? Let us see. Day. I knew it. And that's why the translators put four. You see how stupid? Allah, he prayed for Muhammad, not to Muhammad. <laughs> this is why the translator said, Allah, he prayed for. Okay, how Allah he pray? This is the question you don't care. We don't care if Allah pray for, not to. Because as long as Allah he pray, that means he pray to a higher authority. Who is the higher authority? You must believe there's Father, Son, Holy Spirit? You don't. So Allah pray for, Allah pray for who? For Muhammad, but he no problem. I pray for you, but I'm praying to who? I'm praying to God. I pray for you to be successful, to be one day a horse, not a donkey. But I'm not praying to you as God. I'm praying to God so he might make you a horse, but you're still a donkey. So the donkey, supposedly he is making career ending, but the fact we, we are laughing at this is stupidity. He just confirmed that his God is a praying for, not to. This is why the translator said about that, for not to. I knew it. And that's why the translators put for, hmm. not to the prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hear speak of salah. This, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? Which Muslim scholars? I can show you endless numbers of Muslim scholars starting from Muhammad, starting from Allah. Why Muslims they lie when we ask them about Islam? This is his girlfriend, Fifi. She is answering and she is saying Allah her part. Listen carefully. This is Fifi. You know Fifi? MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Who said so? Named are their hands. 
By the way, this video is made by Shia because you know Shia and Muslim Sunni, they you know they are in love, so they are getting each other each other busted. So this Fifi is refuting the Shia, saying to them, "Well, you know, we believe Allah had parts because the Quran says so." But remember, in the debate, they say, no, Allah don't have part. So how come when Sunni debate in Shia, they agree that they have, Allah have a part, but when Muslim Sunni, they debate a Christian, they deny it. Controversial, like this one, all right, about, about what the Jews said about the hands of Allah, the hand of Allah has chained. Chained are their hands, and cursed are they for what they say. Rather, both his hands are extended, okay? بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبْسُوطَتَانِ بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبْسُوطَتَانِ يَا رَجُلْ يَا رَجُلْ Fifi is explaining how the hands of Allah, not only they, are, they have his two hands, they, his hands is open, he spent money. The Zeus accuse Allah that he is a cheat. He doesn't spend hands, he doesn't spend money in his hands. So the Fifi is explaining not only he have two hands, they are open, مَبْسُوطَتَانِ Explain to us, Fifi. Now, what's interesting about this, um, we were speaking about metaphorical versus, um, you know, um, apparent or, uh, um, what, what was the word? Or literal. Uh, he doesn't know English now. Suddenly, they make fun of my English. What's the word? What's the word? Literal, literal. So, ver metaphorical versus literal. Fifi, he take the literal. The other guy, he believe in the metaphorical. So why Muslims they have different God? Because if the God of Fifi have two hands and his hands are open, and the God of Mimi, he don't have two hands and his hands are not open, obviously Fifi and Mimi, they don't belong to the same God. Isn't it obvious? Now, the term, uh, Yadahu, again, what do, what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah, all right? The hand Allah of Allah. Allah. Specific. The other guy, Allahu Akbar. You, the second you say the hand of Allah, we have to say Allahu Akbar because it's amazing hands. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, brother. What happened? The guy, he just said the word hands of Allah. The other guy, Allahu Akbar. All right, the Allahu hand of Akbar. Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, no, both his hands are extended. Subhan. Both. Subhanallah. And Fifi explained. Allah responded, no. No. Both his hands. You eat it. How Allah is talking and he said both his hands. Isn't it him talking? I mean, what's wrong with this God? He's talking even about his hand and now he says his hand. So if somebody talking about Christian prince, I say, no. Both the hands, both his hands. I am a Christian prince. Why do you want to say both his hands? And this is one of the holes of the Quran. Obviously, the one who was writing the Quran, he forget always to switch to speak as Allah talking because he claimed that the one is talking is Allah. He keeps saying he. It is he who created the world. It is he who sent you. It is he who kill you. It's he who resurrect you. It's he who, who is talking Allah. And now Fifi is explaining that he, Allah, is refuting the Jews that he have hands and his hands are open. By the way, the Jews are not saying Allah don't have hands. They are saying he's a cheap. Fifi, he's quoting this verse in the Quran to show that Allah, his hands are not cheap. Hey, <laughs> he spend money, he buy candies. <laughs> his hands are extended. Subhan. Both, both. What does this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that that you know that Allah has two hands, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. You can't accuse us of shirk for following the Quran, for accepting what we find in the Quran. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will put will put words like these in the like this in the Quran, and then we accept them, and then we will be punished uh, forever in hellfire for accepting what we find in the Quran. This is this is ridiculous. So how come Mimi Hijab don't accept what is in the Quran? Guys, do you see the stupidity? Do you see the stupidity? Fifi and Mimi both in one bed. They are, you know, you can say they are kind of married together. Like, but because Ali, he shared the same bed with the Mimi, 
So, they, you know, he have whole, no space all, all the time. They have one God, but in the debate with Hijab, with David Wood, Allah don't have parts. When we talk to the Shia, Allah have hands, literally. And if we don't believe that Allah has hands, we are going to go to hell. And this is supposedly the career ending debate. To who? And then we will be punished uh, forever in hellfire for accepting what we find in the Quran. This is very, very strange. So, Mimi Hijab don't accept what is in the Quran. If you accept what is in the Quran, so why we have two Allah? Because now we have two Allah. One Allah have hands, the other Allah don't have hands. Allah of Mimi Hijab, he don't have hands. Who said so? Hmm? Who said so? Hello? Who said so? What? Mimi Hijab, he never heard who said so. To the Prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean, don't hear. You don't know, you don't know. Yeah, he, this is the guy, he says, Elijah is me, God with us. It speaks of Salah. This, it, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? Which Muslim scholars? Are you, you, you David crazy? Which Muslim scholars? There's no such a thing. You are a liar. There's no such a scholars. This is not the truth. What's the scholars? Can you name one for me? Not a single scholar, he say Allah have hands. This is not true. You're a liar. You're a liar and uh, you are a liar. And uh, you are a liar. <laughs> Brother Zakir Nayak, my question is regarding the form of Allah. Surah number 39, Zumar, verse 67. The translation says that, and on the day of resurrection, the whole of the earth will be grasped by his hand, and the heavens will be rolled up in his right hand. There is also an hadith in support of this, Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 6, hadith number 336. Can we just imagine some form of Allah? This is asked a question in Surah Al-Zumur, it says, she's correct, Quran does say that, that on the day of judgment is the resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold all the creation and various verses in the Quran, etc. But if you heard my talk, sister, I gave you the key word. The key, the key to this concept is for Ashura, chapter 42, verse number 11, which says, Laisa ka mislihi shay. Look at the answer. There's nothing like Allah. This is another question. The question, why Allah have hands? <laughs> nothing like Allah to start. By the way, this is a verse taken from the Old Testament. Nothing like God. Nothing in the likeness of God. This is from the Old Testament. But doesn't mean, if nothing like God, anything, because everything in this heaven and in this universe, by the way, nothing like it. Even a human being. Even a cat, even a rat, they are not identical. There's no two human beings identical. Even the twin, they are not. But doesn't mean that a rat is a god. So the question is, why Allah have hands? Why Allah have a form in Islam? Why he have hands? Why he have a foot? They do their best to answer anything you are, you are looking for except the question. I will not be surprised if he said to her, Fatal, first of all, I want to say thank you. Because they are really his up. And that will protect you from rape. Because you know we are very crazy people. If we think we meditate, we're in skirt, we go crazy. What does this have to do with the topic? So why Allah have hands? There is nothing whatever like him. So if Quran says Allah has hands, people ask me that if Quran says Allah holds the sky, <laughs> what do you mean he holds like that? No, not like that. If I say I am holding my family together, do you mean to the 24 hours I'm with my wife and my child? You see, they, they are, but in different video, he says, yeah, Allah, Allah, Allah have a hand. Yes, this is true. You know, he say that. And I think in the same video, he will say at the end, yes, Allah have a hand. 
If you go, look, look. I heard the speaker answer that Allah has two hands. Isn't that a contradiction? Because Allah says that there is nothing like him and that nothing is comparable to him. Jazakallah. Hmm. We want to play the original video. This uh, here is not. Allah have a hand. How Allah look like? Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu, the Prophet's companion said, the Prophet Muhammad sallam once said, the meaning of the saying, the Prophet, Allah's hand is ever full. Now he used the word, Yad Allah mil'a. Now why do the translation here, we use the word hands? Because Allah also yeah, talk about himself. Yad Allah fawqa'idim. The hand of Allah is above their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Don't. Don't even imagine. But he have a hand. But don't imagine. <laughs> what does have to do with the question? Allah have a hand, have five fingers. How come we can't imagine? He just imagined that to us. You see, the stupidity is amazing. Those people, they want to make such a name. His name is Allah, holy. But how they can make him holy by making it like... Don't imagine. But by saying that Allah have hands, you made me imagine. You see, those are limp of a creatures. So when we say the horse or the donkey have four legs, why? Because he don't have hands. Why we don't have hands? Because he cannot grab things with them. If he can grab things with them, we call them hands. He walk with them, he don't grab things with them. So the second you say Allah have two hands and they are on the right side, you cannot say you cannot imagine, you idiot. You just did imagine hands. And Allah he is the one who is making you supposedly imagine hands by saying he have hands. I mean, do you see the low IQ? Don't imagine. Oh, brother and sister. Allah have hands, but a morning you don't imagine how the hands of Allah look like. They are so great, amazing hands. What does have to do with the question? Of Allah look like, don't imagine. Uh oh. Just leave it. Just leave it. Uh, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I just, I just told you leave it. I got to leave it, leave it. I got to leave it, leave it. I got to leave it, leave it. Leave it. I mean, you told us Allah have a hand, Allah have five fingers, Allah have a foot, Allah have a shin, Allah, Allah have a face, Allah have two eyes, and then you leave it. <laughs> leave it. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Don't. Just leave it. <sighs> Do Allah have hand? Yes. As a believer, what do you say? Yes. Uh -huh. A believer, a believer, he say yes. Mimi hijab, he say no. A believer, he say yes. Mimi, he said no. Did you hear it? Which Muslim scholars? <laughs> scholars say we should take this literally. The words in Arabic mean don't hit, speak salah. This eat. Come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? So, so, Fufu, Dudu, Mumu, Allah himself, Muhammad himself, Aisha herself, Abu Bakr himself, all Muslim Sunni. I mean, what is your religion? This, this guy, what I want to know, what is his religion? Because obviously he's talking about a God other than the God of the rest. As you see, the God of Fifi have hands. The God of Mimi don't have hands. I mean, they cannot be the same God. Something missing here. But I'm guessing that the video of Mimi Hijab happened to be after Allah was making a bomb for Taliban and explode, so he lost his hands. Otherwise, how they have the same God, but the God of Mimi is different from the God of Fifi. Right, the hand of Allah, specifically, they... 
uh, yadahu, again, what do what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah, all right? The hand Allah of Allah. Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, no, no. both his hands are extended. Allah, he said both his hands, not my hands, both his hands. <laughs> I think Allah, he need to take some medication. You know, he see himself in the mirror. He think he's a third person. Both, both. What does this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that, that you know, that Allah has two hands. I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. You can't accuse us of shirk. The other guy is saying to Fifi that those who believe Allah have hands, they are associating God with God. Why? Because now Allah, got, uh, the hands of Allah are God by themselves, maybe. <laughs> so he's saying, no, you cannot say that because the Quran says that. You cannot say to us that we are out of the faith before believing in what Allah said, brother. For following the Quran, for accepting what we find in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put will put words like these in the like this in the Quran and then we accept them and then we will be punished uh, forever in hellfire for accepting what we find in the Quran this is very very strange okay hold on we have a Muslim he is saying he want to challenge me <coughs> let us see where is the Muslim CP, I tell you, where is the guy? <laughs> they call me, my friend. I did not see your your uh, call. The Muslim, he said, I, it's, I CP, I tell you. Oh, here we go. I found him. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you said you want to challenge me? Hello? Yes, you don't hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Do you hear me or no? Yes. Okay, so you said you want to challenge me. What do you think about the topic? Allah have hands or he don't have hands? Mm, I don't think so, he has hands. You don't think Allah have hands? No. So Zach and Nick and the scholars and Fifi, they are lying? Zach and Nick is a fool. He's a fool? Yes. Okay, he's a fool. What about Fifi? He's a fool too? Yes. Fifi is a fool. Okay. Uh, uh, what about the Sheikh, this guy here with the beard, the big beard? He's a fool too? I don't know about him. Well, like the guy we are showing you now on the screen, is he a fool? So it looks like you Muslims, how, like what is the percentage of fool between Muslims according to you? Because you are saying anyone, all those scholars are fool and you know, look like a big percentage. So how many fool you have between the, the scholars are fool? What the percentage? Every, everyone that is going on YouTube and throwing a tantrum like a child is a fool. Oh, okay. So, okay, as long as they are a fool and you are the smart one, so I'm, I need your help now, you know, like, because obviously you are the only one is not fool in the, in the, in the world. So, the Quran says Allah have hands. You are saying Allah, he don't have hands. What the proof that Allah, are you going against Allah? Allah, he says he have hands. No, it's, it is written metaphorically. Doesn't what? It is written metaphorically. Who said, okay, show me a proof that this is metaphorically. Go ahead. Do you have a proof that this is metaphorically? No. Okay, so, you know, so they have a proof. The Quran says Allah have hands. The Sheikh, they are saying, yes, Allah, he said he have hands. So you are making things up. It's not there. Did the Hadith, did your prophet, did your prophet in the Hadith says that Allah have two hands and both of them in the right side? Yes. Okay, so how Allah have a, what do you, what do you how do you explain that Allah have two hands and both are in the right side?
Can we just discuss another topic? Well, why not? Why would we not finish? You see the topic here says about there is a hole is about the description of Allah. I agree with you on that. So, but, but well, okay, let us, at, least, at least let us discuss a little bit of it, you know, because I, I want to take advantage of your, I mean, your knowledge. You, obviously, you know a lot. So, why Allah have two hands in the right side? What do you think about that? It is how He is. This is how He is, exactly. So, Allah have two hands and both of them in the right side. Do you think this is a birth defect? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, so this is like, this is how he is made. It is, no, it is normal for us because we are seeing human with two hands on, one on each side. That's okay. why it has become normal for us to see it like that. Okay, but maybe the normal for the for the family of Allah, that all of them, they have right hands in the both in both in one side. So you are saying we are human, <laughs> we have one hand in the right, one hand in the left, but for Allah and his family, big family, have a big family, you know, he have all of them, they have hands in the right side. Okay. There's no family. What do you mean no family? Because you said that maybe it's the normal for us to have right hand. So why Allah? Okay, hold on. You are saying Allah have no family. What if I show you in the Quran, Allah saying he have a family? Just show me. <clears throat> All right. Uh... Can you read Arabic? No. Hmm, okay. Let us show you the verse on the screen. Then we will see Allah saying, if you want to take a female as a partner, he will take it from ourselves. If we want to do that. So when Allah want to take a female for, for you know, like boom, boom, you know? So Allah want to do boom, boom. I can't see you CP on the screen. Huh? Can you just wait a minute? I can't see it. Okay, I'm, I'm showing you. Chapter 21, verse number 17. It says if Allah, he want to have uh, a, a partner, you know, he will have her uh, from ourself. Okay, ourself. If Allah is only one, how he will have a partner from ourself? He's talking about the angels. Okay, but ourself, the angels that are ourself. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, are you saying Allah is an angel too? Because He said from us. Mm. If I say from us, that means we are us, sort of us the same, you know, like our kind, you know, from us. So, if you are saying the angels, He will take a, a so Allah, will, Allah will sleep with the angels, man. You think that? That's mm. scary, man. And He is what He is. What? He is what he is, he can't do anything. I know, I know, it is what it is. I mean, what you can do about it, yeah. I mean, I, actually, I'm not worried about Allah doing anything because Allah does not exist. But as you see here, we have a problem. Allah, he have hands. Allah have a foot. Allah have a, a mouth. Allah have a, a, a five fingers. Allah have two hands in the right side, have a shin. And now he is going to take a partner from us. But you must keep saying there's only one Allah. Also, you are talking about Huh? When you were talking about Surah 929. No, I'm talking chapter 21, verse number 17. No, no, in your previous videos. Yeah, but, but we want to finish this one first, you know, that we have a holes in the description of Allah, as you see. You Muslims, you, you know, you're driving us crazy. Some of you says it. Uh, Mimi, he said to the, the, David Wood, uh, who said so? Allah have part, who said so? He denied. Fifi, he said, yes, Allah have hands. And he got him busted. Then we have Zakir Naik, he agree with Fifi. And then we, we have others, uh, Sheikh, they have agree. So why you Muslim have, each one of you, he try to present Allah for us in different form. One he say he's a tree. The other one he say he's a zucchini. The other one he say Allah have no hands. The other one he says Allah have two hands. The other one he say Allah have, have two hands and five fingers in each of them. The other one he says Allah have two hands and he play with them. The other one he says Allah he have hands and he can do gymnastic with them. So which one is Allah? Why you Muslims? Nobody Don't. can know Quran, but it's written in there. Huh? Nobody can understand it. No human can understand it. Ah, no human can. Only donkeys can understand this book you are saying. 
Well, you are the one who said to me, no human. So Allah, he sent the book to the human, who and the human, they can't understand it. So what the point? If, if we ask Zakir Nayak about what you say, what he will say, you think? He will say this. Our brother, he said, that this book, no human can attend. And I agree. He said, the book, no human can attend. Because it is very confusing. And me myself, I'm going crazy. And actually, I can tell you from now, don't ask me one question. Because nobody understands the Quran, the Quran chapter 5, verse 011, it says, ask no question, because if you ask question, you will bingo. Leave it, my brother. Isn't it the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 101, ask no question, and verse 102 says why? Because if your former generation asked the same question and they left Islam because of it? Yes. Okay, so you are saying but to I me... Don't listen to what? I don't listen to Zakir Naik. He makes things. I don't listen to Zakir Naik too. I make fun of him. Don't you see, my friend? I would do Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a certified donkey. You know, if I if I one day I'm going to give him a better job, I will make him a certified uh, uh, mule. But he's not growing. He's still donkey. So, my friend, what what the solution now? How Allah He is one, yet He will take a partner from us. See, can I go to another topic? My friend, why you want to, okay, you know, you, you know what you are doing, you go to a restaurant selling falafel and you say, do you have a shrimp? Can we go to shrimp now? Okay, that's what we have right now. We have, uh, the, there's a hole in the description of Allah. Why you want to change to shrimp? Do you like shrimp, by the way? No. You don't like shrimp? Haram, it's haram, yeah. By the way, uh, is it haram to eat pork? Yes, of course. Uh, who said that? It is written. Where? Everywhere, in the Bible also. You should, should forget about the Bible. I thought the Bible is corrupted, but, uh, but the Quran says, aren't you a Muslim or you are a Christian? I'm Muslim, of course. Okay, as long as you are a Muslim, the Quran says you can eat pork. You want me to show you? Yes. Here we go. It is not written. No, it is written. I will show you. It says you can eat it and yummy yummy. <laughs> in the front of everybody. Here we go. The same verse says, you cannot eat pork, says you can eat pork. <coughs> Sorry, I was eating pork, so I... <coughs> Here we go. It says, don't eat pork, and but if you are hungry, you eat it. You see it? Here we go. But whoever is compelled by hunger with no intent of wrongdoing, Allah is forgiven and merciful. <laughs> so what the point? All of us, we eat because we need to survive and we, we are hungry. So the same verse says, don't eat pork. Is, is pork is bad or good? Look like pork can save life. As you see, look. It has a different, it, it has a different context. What different context? It says, it says, if you are compelled, if you are compelled, you know, we both hunger, you can eat it. Well, all of us, we eat because we are hungry. And most of people who eat pork, actually, because they can't afford other food. It's very cheap. The pork is the cheapest. Like, for me, if I am rich, uh, I will not eat pork. I will eat lamb, and that's better. I will eat uh, the best of the beef. You know, like, there's some part, man, they are so delicious, but they are like $80 each. I can't afford it. So people who eat pork usually are the hungry one who cannot afford it. Uh, so the Quran is giving license for those who cannot afford it to survive and eat pork. But you Muslim, you say, yuck, <laughs> yuck. <laughs> okay, listen, why we can eat pork if we are hungry, but we cannot eat rats? Rats are unclean animals. Rats are what? They eat the unclean animals. They eat their feces. No, this is not the reason. Yes. The rats, they eat their feces. Yes. Okay, well, do you eat rabbit? No. How come? The Quran never forbids you from eating rabbit. Rabbit, they eat their feces. Chicken eat their feces. Don't you know chicken eat their feces? Mm. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, then they, uh, they go right now, if you want, if you don't believe me, do some poo in front of some chicken, and it's, it's going to be like a birthday cake for them. They love it. They will fight over it. So if an animal he eats say, feces, we should not eat him. That's mean we cannot eat anything. Listen, CP, since oh. you're in this chapter, oh. the 51th verse. 51. Okay, you want to go to verse, chapter 5, verse number 51. Okay, what about it? As you said, hmm. it is written, do not take Christians and Jews as friends. Hmm. Yeah. 
but it is it is in the con- context of war no war is going on no that's why it is first, like first of all first of all there is no war it's muhammad who sent who, uh, muhammad who started the war the christian they never attack muhammad he is the one who sent them that i says from, that he friend, does it say there in case there of war no, hold on hold on does it say in case of war it says all who you believe take not jews and christians for friends or protectors they are but friends to each other and secondly how is uh, do you do you uh, have you have you ever heard me saying to people stupid before yes is it okay if i say to you stupid now you will not be upset I'm wrong, you can say it. Okay, uh, you are stupid then. Look at this, look what you say. <laughs> All who you believe, take not Jews and Christians as a friend. And you are saying to me in case of war, how he want to take you as a friend and he is in war with you? Means when they are going to attack... My friend, no, he want to take you. It says take them not as a friend. How they are, fr- they want to take you as a friend, but they are in war with you. Nobody would do that. <laughs> Let me call my, uh, I'm going to call uh, Amigo, you know, like my family and his family, they are fighting over, over business in Mexico. So we have, we have a war between us and we will call him and they say, Amigo, do you like to be my friend? He said to me, no. I mean, come on, if you have war, we will not be friends anyway, we are enemies. So here, obviously, the Christians, they want to be a friend to you. They have no problem to take you as a friend, but the Quran is forbidding you from taking them as a friend. So what you said, my friend, is stupid. Hmm. I think is it the same as Surah 929 also? Uh, say, Surah 929, it says, kill the Christians, kill the Jews, unless they pay you. Muhammad is a, is a thief. You know, he go to mafia, you know, they go to the store. Hey, Tony, did you pay me for this month? If you don't pay me, I'm going to shoot you. This is Muhammad. So, chapter 929, verse number 28, it says, If you are afraid from being poor, don't worry, Allah will reach you. How? Attack the Christians and the Jews and kill them and take their money. How? This is how Allah will reach them. Did you read the verse before it? Uh, what's your name, by the way? Ahmad. Your name is Ahmad? What Ahmad mean? Ahmad Yeah, but what Ahmad mean? I mean, come on, Ahmad. Your name is Ahmad. You do not know what Ahmad mean. Okay, so Muslim, what we learn from them, the guy, his name is Muhammad. You don't know what Muhammad mean. Ahmad, what mean? They don't know. Allah, what it mean? They don't know. Mustafa, what mean? They don't know. I mean, they don't know anyway. I know what it means. No, what what Ahmad mean? Praise one. Praise one. So you you Muslim worship Muhammad? No. The, the praise one is God. There is no other one to be praised save God. You are you Muslim are kuffar, infidels, because the one who call a human being a, the praised one, he is insulting God, worshiping a man beside God and actually deleting God from his from his side by saying, "I am following the praised one." Who is the praised one? A man. What his name? The praised one. So if Muhammad is the praised one, Allah is what? Praise to? No. You just say to me his, his name is the praise one. He is praised by the Almighty. Okay, so who, who is the one who praised Muhammad? Who is, okay, if he is the praised one, who is God then? Hmm. I thought we praise only God. We say praise to God. Have you ever heard of somebody saying, Praise be to a man, his name is a Christian. You cannot say Christian prince, praise, praise one. That is, make you kafir, you know, that's when you worship this guy. And this guy is, you know, is, is, uh, the Muslim, they say they know how to read Arabic too. So, I mean, come on, you cannot do that. So when you say Muhammad is the praise one, obviously you are Muslims, you are kuffar, you are, for, you know, instead of worshiping God, you worship a man, his name is Muhammad. And by the way, your prophet, his name is Ahmad or Muhammad? I'm confused now. He is prophesied in the Bible as Ahmad. If, 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 he is prophesied in the Bible as Muhammad? Ahmad. As Ahmad, where we can find that verse? <clears throat> Let me search. Okay, sir. I have it ready. So he is going to show us, guys, uh, Prophet Muhammad Ahmad in the Bible. Hmm. Invite your friends, please, you know, we have uh, our friend here, Ahmad, 
He's a nice guy, by the way. I, I welcome him to Kola. And he, you know, you should see the text he sent me. He wanted to sentence me. I was going to go to sleep, by the way, Ahmed. I said to myself, this guy is going to get me busted. Because you Muslims always, when you debate me, you demolish me. Do you know how much money I spend in crazy glue to put myself together after each call? You will not believe it. I spend most of my money in buying crazy glue. And now I'm going to switch to Gorilla, actually. Hmm. In Deuteronomy 1818. Yeah, Deuteronomy, okay, 1818. Okay, hold on. And but, th 32 okay. to Isaiah 42. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, many, look, many okay. Times Ahmad, times Ahmad, times. Ahmad, 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 I'm really happy that you called me. Look what you did. You just got Muhammad busted. You just said to me that you find the name of Muhammad or Ahmad in the Old Testament, correct? But the Quran, but the Quran says the one who mentioned the name Ahmad, only one person, his name is Isa, so is the, this should be exist in the New Testament. What's wrong with you, Muslims? This is chapter 61, verse number 6. It says, okay, and remember, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I'm a messenger of Allah sent to you, confirming the law which came before me. And giving that tidings of a messenger after me, his shall name shall Ahmad. Okay, so you are saying to me that his Muhammad, he was mentioned in the Old Testament, but the Quran is saying that the name mentioned in the New Testament. Do you think Muhammad did lie, my friend? Oh, but the meaning of the name is same. It doesn't matter, you said to me in the book of the ceremony. And they said to me in Isaiah, well, those are very uh, old books before uh, Isa, my friend. Uh, but the Quran I says the name, the name, my friend, the Quran mentioned the name Ahmad. The name, no, no, the name Ahmad mentioned only once in the Quran in chapter 61, verse number 6. Right? So, based on this, the one who will mention it is so clear, it says Isa. And the Muslim here, they lie, they say it says Jesus, though we're in the Quran using the word Jesus or Yeshua. Muhammad, you do not know the real name of, of, uh, of the Messiah. By the way, how come Muhammad did not know the real name of the Messiah? How come? What happened? It is written there. Where? Like Isa. Where? Isa? No, we never heard of Isa. Who is Isa? Jesus. Do you know who is Isa? Shall I tell you who is Isa? Yes, I know. Well, no, you don't know. Who Isa is the son of Mary. Is that correct? Maryam? Yes. Okay, but Maryam is the sister of Aaron. Yes. Okay, but Aaron is the brother of Moses. <laughs> That's a different thing, CP. What different yeah, thing? Amazing. What different thing? Look at what your prophet did. This guy, your prophet is not a prophet. This guy is not even, it's, it's not good to, to open a falafel store, my friend. He made Mary, Maryam, which he mentioned in the Old Testament, that she is the sister of Aaron and the sister of Moses, he thought that this is the mother of, of Isa, which is her, yeah, Ma Maryam, she have a son, his name is Isa, huh? supposedly, and this Isa is, a son, is, the, is the nephew of Aaron, but this is not Jesus. See, two people can have the same name in history. What same name, same name my friend? Okay, do, do, you, do you know the name of the chapter of Amran, chapter of Ali Amran? No. What do you know? Chapter number three. You never heard of Ali Amran? Chapter number three. Here we go. It says, Family of Amran. Fam yes. Family of. Okay, who is Amran? His father. Father of who? Jesus. No, father of Jesus. Father of Mary, man. Maryam. Mary, father, father of Mary. Sorry. Okay, father of Maryam. But, but, but this is the same name, the father of Moses. Yes. Okay, so the, uh, Muhammad obviously is a fool. He made Mary but sister of Aaron. Was the only child. <laughs> Ahmad, 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 be honest with me. Aren't you going to leave Islam today? I mean, isn't it clear that your prophet is a fool? I have my doubts. You have a doubt, right? Yes. Well, isn't it obvious? Come on, what you have done? You should, you, you should not, you, my, my friend, you should not have, Ahmad, Ahmad, you should not have a doubt about it. It's clear. Look at this idiot. He just said to you that the name of the chapter are Ali Amran. 
Who is Imran? He is the same father of Moses, and he is the same father of Mary. And the Quran says this sort of Aaron. When a Jewish guy came to Muhammad and got him busted, he said, hey, Muhammad, <laughs> hello, there's hundreds of years between Moses <laughs> and, and Maryam, the mother of, me, of, 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 of this guy you call him Isa uh, uh, or Jesus. So Muhammad, he said, oh, hey, uh, he want to fix it. He said, oh, at that time, they used to call them by their ancestors or the great names of their ancestors, but it doesn't work anymore because he already said something stupid that this is the story of Ali Umran. So he made Mary the daughter of a guy, his name is, even he could not even quote the name. Look, in, in Arabic, it says Imran. In the Hebrew, it is Imran. So yes. the foolish Muhammad, he is so fool even to pronounce the name correctly. And yet he claimed that the one is talking is Allah. Because remember, the one who said the Imran is who? Is Allah, supposedly, correct? Okay, how Allah is talking, and yet he do not know how to quote the name correctly. This is how the name should be. This is how the name should be in Arabic. I'm wrong. And we will type it for you in English so you can see it better. Let us switch to English. Here we go. I'm wrong. So Muhammad, he heard the name wrong. He made Imram as Imran. So the last letter, instead of being M from mountain, it became N, as you see. So how this is can be God? The God is talking. Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a fraud? I can't say anything, CP. Huh? I can't say anything. But why you don't see anything? I, 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 I'm showing it to you in the screen. It's in the screen. Imran, in the Quran appear as Imran, as you see, in the uh, in the Old Testament, Imran, and this is the this this is truly the name of the father of Moses and Aaron. How how Imran into to be the father of Maryam, the mother of Jesus. So Ahmad, if I am you. I will leave Islam immediately. I have some more doubts. Yeah, I'm here to help you. You see, I'm, I'm here to help you. But uh, I mean, this is not a doubt no more. I mean, this is obvious. We can say Muhammad is Mr. Obvious Liar. So what do you think? We leave Islam right now, my friend? Come on, you are smart. Huh? I'll have to talk with some people, then I can take this decision. You want to take to some people decision? Here we go, we'll talk with you. Let's talk more. It's for free. We're talking for free. I don't charge you. Usually I charge only people who have a chicken. Do you have a chicken? <laughs> if you have a chicken, you have to pay me a chicken so I can talk to you. If you have no chicken, what I can do? I mean, I'll do it for free, what I can do. So come on, what do you try to talk to people? I'm talk are you saying I'm not people? No, no. I'm not okay, saying so that. talk to me. Here we go. What do you want me to help you with? Obviously, this this guy Muhammad is a fraud. Wait, I'll show you something. You want to show me something? After all what I showed you, you want to show me something? Don't show me anything. Muhammad is obviously is a fraud. There is no need to question. But there are so many scientific miracles in Quran. Ah, uh -huh. really? Okay, uh, guys, guys, there is many scientific miracles in the Quran. I like that. Okay, give me one. Mm -hmm. Like what? Big bang. Big bang in the Quran. Okay, Ahmad, I'm going to give you a big bang in your head now. <laughs> it is written in twenty one thirty five. No, my friend, this is not. This is a lie. First of all, the Big Bang is not science. It's, it's a theory. Surah twenty one ayat. My friend, 31. my friend, the Big Bang is not a science. It's a theory. Secondly, the Quran has nothing to do with the Big Bang. Let me show you. Here we go. This is the Quran where the Muslims speak about claiming that this is about the Big Bang. You know how to read English, right? Yes. Okay. Do you see? It says here. Don't the believer see? Do you see the word see? I can't see your screen now. No, no, no. 
I'm saying, don't you see the word say? I don't care. Okay, so there it says, don't the believer see? That, that's something we see every day. Not uh, something happened a, a billion years ago. Don't the believer see that the heaven and the earth were joined together in you know in the between two brackets? They say one unit creation before we club them asunder. Oh, that's stupid because the earth is inside the space. We are not cleft asunder. Is the earth separated or it is little dust inside the space, Ahmad? It is very little inside the space. It is literally little, 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 little tiny dust inside the space. So how Allah He separated? That's stupid. Secondly, He says, "Don't the unbelievers see the heaven and the earth?" So there was heaven and there was earth. Big Bang believed there was heaven and earth, and then separated. No. The Big Bang. Maybe in Arabic it says something different. My friend, what Arabic? Arabic, that's right. Ah, you know Arabic? Read for me in Arabic. You know, I don't know Arabic. No, no, I, I'm saying I don't know Arabic. That's why maybe I am not able to understand it. Ah, but you know, we can read the translation. This year, this year, almost them translation. Awalam yara ladina kafaru anna samawati wal arda kanata ritqan fafatakhnahuma wajalna min almai kulla shayin hay afala yuminu. Stupid verse. He got himself busted again. Because he is saying that the earth and the heaven, they used to be joined together, and then he separated them. And in order to explain that, you know, we need to understand that the Quran teach that the earth, Allah, he left up the sky from the earth. But this is stupid. Saqfan marfu'a. Did the Quran say Allah, he made the sky as a roof lift up? Yes or no? What? No, yes or no? Yes. Okay. So this is what the what does this have to do with Big Bang? This is stupid. It says, "Was saqful marfu'a." You go to the interpretation and you will see. وَجَعَلْنَا السَّمَاءَ سَقْفًا مَحْفُوظًا. So Allah He made the sky protected roof. Muslim, they say to you, "This is not atmosphere, correct?" Okay, but just to show you how they lie to 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 the naive one who do not know. Uh, this is about if shaitan tried to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot his ass with a star. You know that, right? Yes. Okay, so the, they lie to us. They say this is science. This is about the atmosphere. When the, it is the opposite because the atmosphere protects the earth from something coming outside into the earth. The Quran is speaking about the opposite. If you try to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot the ass of the human and the genie if they try to do so. What is the purpose of the stars in the heaven according to the Quran, Ahmad? That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, come on, Ahmad. If there's one thing in the stupid book makes sense, look, read one. It says, And we have from old adorned the lowest heaven with lamps, and we have made such a lamps as missiles to drive away the evil one, like Star Wars. Allah created the stars. To shoot the shaitan if he try what? Do you know, Ahmad? Try to do what? Maybe it is talking about meteorites. No. Not stars. No, it says lamps. We decorated lamps. No, no. It says. Stars are it, no, my friend. Okay, okay, hold on. No problem. Yeah, you're right. You are right. Lamps is so big, but this is how Muhammad he thought. He thought the meteor are lamps. Do you see it says lamps? Zayyina sama al dunya bi It is written in brackets. You see, when you say the Zayyana decorated, it's not something going to disappear. It is there. So when they move, when they Allah He throw them, He make them as missiles. He shoot this. Uh, okay, let us see why this is happening. We have to connect the dots together, Ahmad. So if you go to the front Quran, the verse in the Quran, you will see the verse saying uh, that the Shaitan he uh, tried to spy at Allah, and then when is it he made up of fire? So how stars are also exactly how you can burn fire by fire? Hello. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> you are right. But look what Allah says supposed to hear Muhammad. Allah. He says he he guarded the sky from every outcast devil. Huh? Be careful. The verse before it says we place uh, in the star in the in the sky. Uh, consultation in the sky and we made them beautiful to the beholder those are the stars and then he says and we guarded them from, from every outcast devil so in the in the heaven there's there's like castles huh? and there's the stars and those castles 
they are guarded by the stars. If a shaitan, he tried to get close to them, look what will happen. It, except the one who steals a hearing and he followed by a visible projectile. I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. Excuse my English. As you know, uh, Ahmed, in, 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 in. My English is also not that good. You do not know the word? So now two of us, we need two more, we can play cards. Because this card, the card game need uh, four. I did not play card forever since I was like six months old. So here it says, except one who's still hearing. I mean, can you believe really that Shaitan, he want to still hearing from Allah? I mean, you heard about hacking, right? People hacking. Uh, did you hear about Joe Biden? Yes. You know, he says hacking, so the Russian hacking, the Trump, you know? So uh, Allah, he is Shaitan, he will try to hack Allah and he will listen to his microphone. But Allah, he will shoot the shaitan by a star, like and then he burn his ass and shaitan. That they are not physical beings. So no, 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 physical. This is physical, my friend. The star is physical. The sky is a physical. Allah is a physical. No, shaitan. No, shaitan. Shaitan is not a physical being. Who said that? Okay, hold on. Isn't it the Quran says that shaitan he have children? Yes. Okay, if he have a children, how he cannot be physical? That's mean he's having sex. But maybe he made it through some other way. No, no, no. You see, as, as long as shaitan, and the Muslims explain, says that shaitan, he have a penis, and he have a vagina, and then to do himself, he, he put Words this. Over written. Where, where it says that? Okay, give me a second. I will show it to you. But it's in Arabic. But I can read for you. No problem. You can. I can post the link in the in the chat, and you can use Google Translation. Uh, yes. Okay. Here we go. All right. Hmm. Uh, here we go. I will, I will post the link for you in, in the in the chat. So later, you can translate, you use Google translation, all right, my friend? Okay. Okay, here we go. I post it now in the chat. Anyone who's there can use Google translation uh, uh, to, to translate. Let us put it in the screen. And all of you, you can do the same as we say. We post the link. This is official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, very well known website. And this is Jami al Ahkam al Quran al Qurtubi, Imam al Qurtubi. It says here, uh, let's read. Mujahidi said, In the Iblisa at Khala Farjahu fi Farji Nefsihi Fabada Khamsa Baydad. Mujahidi said that Iblis, Iblis, the biggest devil, like he's the father of the devil, you know, uh, he, if himself, excuse my language, this is what, uh, you know, uh, by, by his vagina. So he have a penis, have a vagina. And then he lay down five eggs. And then from every egg, and, and then every, and uh, you know, uh, he like those eggs will become, you know, uh, baby shaitan. And here he continues saying, and it says that Allah, he created for him in his right thigh, a penis, and his left thigh, a vagina. So he do nikah. So he, if this by that, and every day he lay 10 eggs. And from every egg, 70 male and female devil will come. And they go out of the egg and they fly immediately. What do you think? Hmm. So shaitan is a physical being. Yes. But isn't you who said to me, Allah created shaitan from fire? Yes. Well, isn't it fire is a physical material? It's burning yes. material. Okay, so it's physical. Come on. So what do you there think, so Ahmed? Many sure. So shall we leave Islam right now? What do you think about shaitan? He have a penis and he have a vagina. I mean, shaitan is lucky, man. You do not need to go get married and have a mother-in-law, <laughs> you know? <laughs> he have everything there, like, you know, you don't need that. Like, you do not need to buy a gift to the girl, convince her to marry him, like, okay, I'm smarter, I am handsome, blah, blah, blah. No, he have a penis, he have a vagina. Hey, <laughs> hello, we do not need women no more. So he do the bingo, uh, to the bingo, 
and then he have eggs, and then he have babies. And right away, he do not need to send them to school. Right away, they graduate as shaitan, and they fly immediately. I mean, that's really amazing. So this is so beautiful. I mean, how the how the Muslim they knew those information? I mean, this is. But look here, it says. Uh, it's sounding like a very man-made story. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, it's a cartoon story, huh? So he inserts his vagina into, you know, he, like the translation is very funny and stupid. So he, you know, he do himself by himself. He have a penis in the in the in the right side of his thigh, and he have a vagina in the left side. So when he have sex, he shake his legs. I like this idea, by the way. Like you don't, I mean, you don't even need to do anything. Just shake legs, you know, shake legs and boom, 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 and then you legs. <laughs> Unbelievable! I love it. I love it. <laughs> the one who created the story have a lot of things to explain. True story. Hmm. <laughs> So Ahmed, what we will do now? We stay Muslims or leave Islam? The guy say But I just have one more doubt. Okay, one more. Okay, give give it to me. What is it? It is uh, written in Surah 5, 5 verse 32, I think, that it, uh, Surah what? you shall not kill. So it is giving so many moral things. So, surah what? Surah what? Surah 5, Ayah 32. Surah 5, uh, verse or 33. Of... It is written, you should not kill and Killing one person is like killing everyone. Yeah, okay, well, and I, I like that you are mentioning this one. This is even the Quran mentioned that this is an order was given to Moses. If you go read the, the book of Moses, you will see the book of Moses forbidden to kill innocent people. So the Quran trying to quote what Moses he received from God. This is Muhammad. He's not saying he is the one who received it. Read the verse. It says it's been given to Moses. The, you, you, know how, you know how to read, right? Yes. Okay. Does it say here, on the account we are denied for the children of Israel, that if any is slow, or one is slow, a person, unless in, it be a, a, for a murder, he is doing mischief. And so this is an order was given in the Old Testament. This is not in the Quran. Right? And here the question, why, why, and why Muhammad did not follow the, the law of Moses as long as he agreed that the law of Moses is good? It says you should not. And why was then they say to us, the Quran says, the Bible says, go and kill babies and kill, you know. The Quran says that the Torah have an order from God not to slew anyone is an honest in this in the case of murder. So the Quran witness for that, this was an order given to Moses. Why Muhammad don't follow this? Like Muslims, they say to us, we follow Moses, and then we say to them, okay, well, did Muhammad circumcise? No. Why he don't follow Moses? But Jews were attacking him, that's why he had to protect his, himself. No, it's not true. He was attacking the Jews. The Jews, actually, they are the Someone one. Will... The Jews, my friend, is the one who gave him protection, not the opposite. Muhammad, he ran away from his from his town. He came to their town. This is their town. Yathrib is a city of the Jews. So they lie when they say the Jews, they were attacking him. They open his, this is what, what you do when you open your door to a thief. They welcome him in his town, in their town. They, uh, him and the, and, the, and, and the people, they came with him. And they did not, they have a chance to kill him all the time when he was weak. Why did not kill him? He was doing business, the Muslim doing business between them, living between them peacefully. When Muhammad gets strong, free the slaves also. Huh? They used to free the slaves also. No, that's not true. Muhammad he never free slaves. Muhammad he owned slaves. As an example, Bilal, very famous slave. Muhammad he died and Bilal is still a slave. Mary the Copt is a slave and Muhammad he died and she is still a slave. Her sister she is a slave. Her cousin is a slave. Muhammad he was a free slave. Muhammad actually, if somebody is a free slave, he made them slaves again. And if somebody is against slavery, why he want slaves? Imagine this. I am against, I'm going to join the Black Life Matter and I'm going to own some slaves. 
<laughs> that's a good one isn't it <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> yeah like you know okay my name you know uh, abdullah muhammad abdullah ali and i support the black life matter but i own like a thousand slaves and they are african <laughs> i mean it's isn't it funny the muslim they try to fool who if the guy is against slavery so why he owns slaves jesus never owned a slave never have one never never even touch a slave. Yeah, I, know, I, I know that he is a perfect example. I know that. Yeah. But I uh, listened to the video of Zakir Naik. Oh, don't talk about my cousin free, please, Zakir Naik. <laughs> Zak he said, it is nowhere written that he is God. It's written what? And I searched it also, there is nowhere it is written. Nowhere written what? That he is, it is written in the Bible that he is God. About Jesus? Yes. I mean, this guy is an idiot. The whole Bible is about Jesus, about me being God. <laughs> From verse number one, go up, open right now, John chapter one, verse number one. Yes, I read it. Yeah, it's, all of it is about Jesus is God. I mean, how where it says, where, the way it says Jesus I'm God, and what about Jesus says, uh, they ask him, why you don't show us the Father? Who is the Father in Christianity, you know? When the Christian, they say our Father. Jesus said, if you have seen me, then you have seen God. Exactly. So, so how they say, Jesus never claimed that he is God. Imagine, you say to me, okay, show me God. I say, if you see me, you see God. Well, obviously, I'm saying to you, I am God too. I'm, I am him, right? And the Bible teach clearly that Jesus, the Messiah, is the visible image of the invisible God. He said to them, I am with you all this time and you do not know me. But the guy was asking for what? Asking to see God. What the answer? I am with you all this time and you do not know me? So when they say Jesus never claimed to be God, they are lying. All the Bible is saying so. When Jesus says, I am the Alpha, that means he is the beginning of life. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the creation. I am the life. I am the truth. I am the light. What is that? Yes. But in... Our scriptures, it is prohibited to drink, but in Bible it's written that you can drink. No, my friend, the drinking, you see, the, the, uh, uh, Jesus said it clearly, it's not what go in your mouth, make you dirty, it's what go from your mouth, what come out. Secondly, uh, anything you, you, you take too much of it can kill you. As an example, Muhammad the hypocrite, do you know that Muhammad, he made a verse in the Quran, praising alcohol? Yes. Okay. So how the uh, how the yes. alcohol? How, seventy-eight chapter seventy-eight. Exactly. So how how al how alcohol is bad, and then and it's from shaitan, and then in chapter sixteen, verse number 70, 67, Allah praising alcohol and claiming that this is a miracle from Him. But no human should drink it now, as you will get it in heaven, right? No, that's uh, stupid. Uh, actually, this is very stupid. To, to say to me, you can drink it now, you can drink it later. If, is it bad? Bad. If it's good? Good. I mean, if you say it to me, you will give it to me in heaven. It's, it's, it's very good, actually. You are saying to me, what make heaven heaven, heaven wine. If there's no wine in heaven, there's, it's not heaven. Do, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Muhammad is so stupid to the point, he is saying to me that heaven will not be heaven unless we have wine in heaven. Because if wine is bad, so why he promised me wine in heaven? <laughs> That's mean if we don't have wine in heaven, something bad is missing. Heaven is not heaven no more. So stupidity is amazing. He said wine is not good, but in heaven I will have you I'll make you have rivers of wine. If it is bad, why we have river of it? That is a thing. Yeah, and you will spend the day like blah, 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 drinking, you know. So it's bad, brother. The wine is bad, brother. But in heaven, brother, I will give you a river of wine. But my friends and everyone were telling so many good things about. Huh? They were telling so many good things. What good things, my friend? All this garbage. Okay, I will tell you about good things I like in the Quran. This is between me and you. Nobody is listening. You are over the age of 18, right? Yes. Okay, do you know the Allah? You are 32, man, I'm younger 22. than you. 
Okay, I'm 17. Listen to this. Allah, he promised us in the Quran that we will have women who have big boobs. So what is wrong with that? Nothing wrong, man. What are you talking about? Actually, I wish they have seven boobs, not only one, two. But listen, so Allah is God, and wine is bad, and women is bad. But Muhammad have unlimited number of them, brother. And then in heaven, brother, we will have women with big boobs. I mean, obviously, this God is not sexual. He like he could not promise me a woman she will love me. No. I will give you women with big he, he knows what, what, what is that? Hold on. Yes, humans need. Ah, human, he need big boobs. Ah, you got a point here. Okay. So you know what? I'm going I'm to go. That. Uh, no, no, listen, Ahmed. I'm going to sign in the dating profile. I'm not going to look for a woman. She is decent. She is, <laughs> she loved me. She is no, I will say only women with big boobs, please. What the heck is that? So this God is trying to tempt me by but by the way i don't like them big reading to be honest with you i mean why well, i'm going to marry a cow excuse me guys i'm not being t t insulting anyone but too big is scary i mean it's yes. it's good to have women have the big boobs by the way in case there is a flood of noah she can use them as a balloon and you <laughs> hold them and you can like float with them that's good but i mean it's too big those are really big because muhammad he mentioned in the hadith that the women butt will be one mile size. So how big the boobs? You can imagine. Maybe each one of them is half mile. It is nowhere written that it is one mile. One mile. mile. One mile. It one is mile. Nowhere written. Huh? It is nowhere written. It is one mile. No, it says here we go. I can show you the hadith. You want to see it? I can see the woman if it's one mile. You cannot what? See the woman if it is one mile. You can't see her. Yes, the distance between her and you will be one mile. You see, my problem with this hadith is not about the size of the woman, but my problem is how big her poopoo. -poo. Because, you know, I'm thinking actually, if I can open a business to of a manure, manure business, you know, so we can sell the manure because if she have one mile butt and she do it three times a day, then what we can do, we can sell the manure. Here we go. This is Musnad Ahmad. This is the reference. Hadith number. Can you please tell me the hadith number? Yeah. Hadith number. I'm, 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 I have it in screen. Hadith number 10747. Mus Musnad Ahmad. Yes. Musnad Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu. Hadith number 10747. He said, the lowest in the heaven, the lowest, like there's a rank, is seven uh, ranks. And he is in the six of it. This is the lowest. And in the top of it, there is the seven. And he have a 300 servant. And he will be served with 300 tray. And uh, like from different, every one of it is different kind of food. And... Uh, and, and then he said, made of gold, and from every every tree there is a kind other from the other kind, and all of them they are so delicious from the beginning to the end. And he drank from a three uh, uh, three hundred uh, uh, like a, a cup or or a, a dish, and every cup uh, have a color not like the other one, and it is so delicious from the first to the to the end. And then he says, the God, he will say, Ya Rabb, law adinta li la at'amtu ahl al-jannah wa saqaytahum. Oh God, this is too much food. If you let me, I can even feed all the people of heaven. And, and still I have more. And then he will have, wa inna lahu min al-hur al-ayn, the athnayna wa sab'ina zawja. And he will have from the hur, 20, uh, 72 wives, additional to the wives he have in the earth, Allah will give him. And each one of them, wa inna al-wahida min him, min hun, each one of them here ass will take one mile on the ground. And we it's can really embarrassing. very embarrassing. We can use Google Translation here so people will not say I'm making things up. Here we go. So what do you think, Ahmed? Do you want to stay as a Muslim now? After all this garbage? I don't 
think so. All right, so Ahmad, do you, do you... There is nothing logical in it written here. All right, so do you denounce Muhammad and you believe he's a false prophet, my friend Ahmad? I think so. All right, and so... he is not setting the right example and he's marrying a... Exactly. Exactly, I'm so, I'm, I'm, so, like I'm so happy for you, Ahmed, that you decide to leave Islam. That's, that's wonderful, my friend. So, Ahmed, as long as you decide to accept that Muhammad is a fraud, and we prove it, and you agree with me, that's a wonderful move. What about you become a Christian? What do you think about accepting Jesus? I know about him, but I don't know anything about Bible. No problem. I've just, just researched on it. After seeing some videos of Zakir Naik and... You want to learn Christianity from Zakir Naik? This guy doesn't even know uh, his religion. They ask him, there's a there's a woman, she asked him about whore. She said, how come in heaven, the, the man he uh, had 72 whore, the woman she doesn't have? That. Yeah, so he said, a fitter. I want fitter to get a point. In heaven, a man he will have 72 whore. But I continue with fitter. The word whore is the proper word. And me, male and female. So fitter, you will get whore too. How stupid he is. The word whore in the Quran is only for female. Anyone who speaks little Arabic, he will know right away that it's impossible to be for male because the Quran, in Arabic, you see, we have a letter at the end of anything you add it to make it female. So when uh, uh, when you speak about females, you add the letter noon. And the Quran says, Yatmuthahun. They will, they will bleed. Yatmuthahun. So they will bleed, if the female will bleed. Hun, the letter in, is about female. So those there females... There are so many Saudis who speak Arab were sitting there and were clapping on this thing. Yeah, because they are, you know, they are, they are hypocrites, but they knew he's a, he's, a, he's a stupid. They knew he's lying, you know, he's not true, you know. You see, you see the word Yatmusahun? This is about women bleeding from either menstruation, but in this case here is about losing their virginity and bleed. And, and the last letter of the word is Nun and Niswa, which is the letter N for female. This letter you added at the end to make it belong to females. So, فِيهُنَّ قَاصِرَاتُ الطَّرْفِ قَاصِرَاتُ This is for female. So he lie and he is stupid at the same time. But I think now, if you ask him again, I think people, they correct him, he will not say that. But he was a donkey. Now he's trying to be a mule. So in them, they will be median chest restraining in, in their gallants, whom no man or genie before has touched them. This is a false translation, by the way, because nowhere in the Quran says, has not touched them. It says, no man, no genie made them lose their skin of virginity inside their vagina. And this is the translation of Hilali, Muhammad Hilali and Khan. Look what it says. Wherein both will be those median restraining in their gallants, upon their husband whom no man or genie yet Musahunna has opened their human with sexual intercourse before them. The stupid uh, uh, Zakir Naik, he says this, those are male. This is very disgusting. Yeah. So so what do you think about, uh, you are saying you, you, you need to learn more about the Bible before you accept Christ? Yes. Okay. Do you, do you have any question for me? No. I've raised my doubts. I've asked you all the questions. Okay. Well, anytime you you feel like you want to talk and you want to uh, you want to talk about uh, because now you read Islam, if you want me to help you um, to accept the Messiah, I will be happy to help you. But I will, I will tell you, Ahmad, if we don't care for the Muslims, we will not invite them to believe in the Messiah. You see, Muslim, they say uh, Christian prince here, Muslim. We don't hate them because if we hate you, we will not invite you to believe in our Lord. You know what I mean? Yes. Because that will make you a brother to me. So how I hate you. Same time, we as a Christian, we are not allowed to hate anyone. So I might get angry from Muslim for lying to us, play practicing taqiyya, etc. But this is an anger against lies, not against the human himself. I don't know the person, you know. This is again, you know, we hate lies. We don't hate the people. Yes, I also don't discriminate against Christians and anything. Well, that's because you're a good person. But Islam discriminates. All of Islam is religion of discrimination. It's yeah, Islam is religion of discrimination. Anyway, Ahmad, as long as you, you need to think about the Bible, you need to think about Jesus, 
feel free to contact me when I'm live on air. I will be happy to talk to you. And I will be so glad to hear from you soon that you decide to accept the Messiah. In the same time, today we have a good progress. You are free from the virus of Muhammad. Today, yes. you are free from the virus of stupidity. Let us make it clear. Because a human being believes there's God, he will provide you women for sex. Obviously, he is missing something wrong. There's something wrong in his thinking, you know? There's no way God will turn into the it thing. It's, uh, God is I not a thing. It, but I thought something different will be written in Arabic. But everything it is written like that. Well, everything that uh, always you see, this is why I'm because doing here. Because when I come with doubt, people say that you don't know Arabic. So yeah, they try to fool you. This is, this is how they can, you, you believe it or not, they say to me, and I'm, I am an Arab, I do not know Arabic too. <laughs> this is the only excuse they have, but the fact, uh, I mean, and then you ask them, do you know that what the Quran means? They, they speak, speak Arabic, you ask them, do you accept Tafsir Al-Jalalain? They say no, but he knew Arabic, he's a scholar. He's wrong, he's a human. Okay, what about the Kurtubi? He's wrong, he's a human. Okay, well, isn't your prophet is a human too? <laughs> All right, my friend, I'm so happy for you. At least you left Islam today. I will pray for you, and I pray. I ask all the Christians to join me in prayer to pray to our brother Ahmad. He did not accept the Messiah yet, but he decided to leave Islam and to be free from the devil Muhammad. We pray to the Lord that he open his eyes, he guide him, he open doors for him, he make him see the truth, and the truth will set him free. We pray that if we were tough with him, and we were harsh with a few words with him, that because, you know, we love to help, not love to insult. We are insulting the devil, not Ahmad. And, uh, uh, you know, Ahmad, he became a person who decided to be free from the devil because he noticed that this is, doesn't make sense, and that is not from God, and that is, cannot be true. God is holy, and Islam is just stupid and filthy cult. It cannot be from God. So we pray that the Lord may help Ahmad and his family, his mother, his father, his brothers, his sisters. We don't know how many they are. We we'll pray for them all. We pray for all people who surround him to be guided and to see the truth, and the truth will set him free and his family. We pray that he will call me soon, and he will say, I accepted the Messiah as my Savior, so Ahmad and his family, they will be with us in heaven, and they will be granted salvation, for nobody can save but the Messiah. No angels, no Christian prince, no priest, no pope, no prophet. There's only one Savior. His name is the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. In his name we pray that Ahmad will accept him soon and he will be saved. Thank you, Ahmad, for calling me. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Sidi. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. And if you see, guys, if you see the text of Ahmad when he texts me, I want to challenge you in a debate. <laughs> That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, he texts me, he wants to challenge me in debate. Want to get destroyed? He was saying to me, he wants to destroy me, Ahmed. I'm mean, <laughs> very cute. Thank you, Ahmed, for calling me. I'm so happy that you destroyed me today. But don't worry, I have a glue. All right. Uh, glory to him. God is good. And again, I apologize. I was away for some time, but I have to. And actually, I'm going to be away for a few days again, but this is, will be that set for for a good time, and we will be back on a schedule. So if I uh, if I disappear for a few days again, don't think I am. For, uh, trust me, it's because I have to do those trips. It's it's a must for me. It's not like a choice. Otherwise, I would love to go every day live on air and speak to you guys. Anyway, God is good, and as you see, there's there's many kinds of Islam. The band you are talking to, there's a there's a person, he's decent. He's a Muslim, his name is Ahmad, as we heard. But because he has decency in his heart, he's coming from a good family. He don't want to lie to himself. He notice, he see. He don't want just to defend, just for the purpose of being arrogant. Oh, you know, I, Islam is good, you know. He notice Islam is false, so he have, you know, he cannot take it no more. That's it, it's, it's false, it's obvious. There's other kind of Muslims. 
they knew that we are we are showing the screen we are showing the proof we are showing the reference yet they deny and they accuse us even though we are showing in the screen everything they accuse us that we are the one is lying we are the one is fabricating and then we show you that those Muslims, one of them he believe in a God, he have five fingers, have hand, his name is Fifi, and the other one, his name is Mimi, and both of them in one bed, and they are very friends, and yet both of them, they have two gods, they are different from each other, one is physical, the other one is not physical. Why we have two answers? Because Muslim answers, I'm talking about those deceivers, not all Muslims, like Fifi and Mimi, the answer change depends you are talking to who? So when you talk to someone, if, if Mimi talking, if Mimi Hijab is talking to someone is a Muslim, the answer will be different from talking to someone is a Christian. Why? Because they have no decency, those kind of Muslims. Other Muslims, they are very decent. You see, actually I believe that ISIS members are a million times more decent than those who you see them in YouTube. At least ISIS, he said to you what he believed. He said, yes, Allah have hands. Those they deny. You know what I'm saying? A member of Al-Qaeda, he will say, yes, Islam says, kill the one who don't believe in Allah. Those people, they deny. So there's a proud Muslim and there's a shamed Muslim. Those are ashamed Muslims like Mimi and Fifi. So they try to hide what they believe. It's a shame. Otherwise, why a human being would be ashamed to say the truth about his God? If your God is wonderful, if your God is powerful, if your God is a truth, it doesn't matter what you say. I mean, that's it. This is your belief. Why you hide your belief? You hide only when you are doing something shameful. Why a human being, he wear clothes? Because it's shameful to show his private part. And unless those Muhammadan, like Mimi and Fifi, they see Islam as a private part, so why they are hiding the truth? A proud believer, he will say, yes, I believe in this. If a person came to me, do you say, do you believe that Jesus came as a man? I say, yes. Do you believe his God? I say, yes. I'm not going to deny that he came as a man. So why you didn't you deny that Allah have hands in a public debate? And then your friend who is your boyfriend in the bed to get together, he say, no, Allah have hands. What's wrong with you? Do we have two, two gods now? How two people who they are so close to each other, one believe in God have hands, and the other one make fun of those who believe Allah have hands in a debate. So they deny just to win an argument for 30 seconds. After that, they will be tortured for their lives. One he say, who said so? The other one he says, Allah said so. Muhammad says so. He speaks of Salah. Does he, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? <laughs> and the funny, all those Muslims, you see, you see uh, Ahmad here, he mentioned something about Zakir Naik while saying something wrong and nobody correct him. As you see here, Muslims are laughing too. I mean, what kind of Muslim those Muslims are? Not even one of them brave to say you are stupid, you are insulting Allah, you are insulting the Prophet. Because the one who said that Allah have hands is Allah. The one who said Allah have hands is Muhammad. So when you say in a funny way, making fun, a mockery, who said so? You are making fun of Allah, making fun of Muhammad. And here we see that those people are not to be considered even as a Muslim. They make fun of their prophet. And then we find that the most close friend to, to Mimi, Mr. Mrs. Fifi, Saying, yes, Allah have hands. Debating other person to prove to him that yes, the Quran says Allah have hands. What's wrong with you? Actually, how we can be kuffar infidels if we believe in what the Quran says that Allah have hands? But Mimi Hijab, he said, who said so? So which one of them is lying? Which one of them is saying the truth? I guarantee you, both of them, they are liars. The band, they are talking to who? But the hands of Allah, the hand of Allah has chained chained are their hands and cursed are they for what they say rather both his hands are extended okay now what's interesting about this um we were speaking about metaphorical versus um 
you know, um, apparent or uh, um, what, what was the word? Or literal. Now, the term, uh, yadahu, again, what do, what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah, all right? The Allah hand Allah. of Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, no, both his hands are extended. Both. 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 What does this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashi. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that that you know that Allah has two hands, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. He's not saying completely it's fine. You see, he took the word fine because he cannot say you cannot say it's fine to accept Allah and have hands because you are wrong. So I take it back. And he's saying to the other sheikh, you cannot accuse us to be kuffar for believing in what Allah said. So why we have Fifi saying, making mockery of those who believe that Allah have hands, when Muhammad says that, the Quran says that. And by the way, if you go and translate this, this chapter, this verse in the Quran, you will find all of them, they took the word, the hands of Allah, off the translation. It's gone. I think there's only one translation coming with the word, both hands of Allah. Literally. All the translation, they took the hands off from the translation. You cannot find the word hands in the translation at all. Both hands of Allah. No, if he explained clearly, he said, this is not metaphorical. This is what the Quran is saying. This is not metaphorical. He said that. So, but here you see, notice, that when you debate Muslims, we are not debating Muslims. You are, you are, you are playing games with them. You, have, you know, they play games. It's like hide and seek. When Muslims, they speak to Muslims, they speak different answers. Here, Fifi is talking to Muslims in a private uh, conversation. Muslim to Muslims. Christian prince is not listening. So he said, oh, Allah have hands. But if Fifi was in the stage, I don't know if he was there with Mimi, he will be, hey, Muhammad Hijab, bravo, bravo. He will not say to Fifi Hijab, you know, shame on you, stupid idiot. What are you talking about? You are insulting the Prophet. He is the one who say Allah have two hands. You are insulting Allah. You are making mockery of the one who say he have hands. It's Allah who said he have hands. I'm, I'm not saying so it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. You can't accuse us of shirk for following the Quran, for accepting what we find in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put will put words like these in the uh, like this in the Quran and then we accept them and then we will be punished uh, forever in hellfire for accepting what we find in the Quran he's saying to him you you want you want me to believe that Allah will punish me for believing in what Allah said about him that he have hands and look here you see how Fifi is desperately defending believing that hand Allah have hands and Mimi he is doing the opposite make him mockery of those who believe Allah have hands why? Because the mockery is to avoid the answer. And this is why when you debate, if, you, if we can call it debate, you see, David Wood is a still an American person. He is not used to this kind of savage talk, mockery. You know, they don't, they don't, they don't debate. Those are street boys. They are mockery. They try, they try to smear you. Like they took my, my video, a Muslim woman, she was saying 30 words about Jesus and his mother. And I said to her, oh, hold on, it's your prophet who said suck on me. Because she was saying Jesus was doing to something to his mother's breast. They cut the video and say, Christian prince says to a Muslim woman suck on me. <laughs> so they, they are street boys. Those are not even Muslims. They are just a bunch of street boys. This is why we want real people to debate us. Until now, we don't see them. You can see someone who is decent, like Ahmed, who called us today. Obviously, he's coming from a good family. But those who they are street boys, I don't think their daddy did a good job to teach them how to be decent. Decency starts with the answer, yes, yes, no, no. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes. Do you believe he was a man? Yes. I'm not going to be ashamed of my God.
If somebody came to me and he's an atheist, he say, hey, Christian prince, oh, you Christian believe that Jesus is son of virgin. Scientifically, this is going to be true. I'm not going to change my belief because scientifically cannot be true. I will say, well, this is what we believe. Take it or leave it. Muslim, they change their belief. They change even what the Quran means to make it fit with science. Why? Because they are ashamed of their book. Allah, he said, the sun set in murky water. No, it's not Allah saying that. It appeared in the eyes where it says that. Eyes come from mountains in heavens. Is that science? So they fabricate because they are ashamed. We as a Christian, we are, I don't care. You see, people, they say they believe in the Big Bang. And they speak about it as science. I laugh at it. I'm not going to change my Bible to make it fit with the Big Bang theory, as the Muslim they do. You see, when Zach and Ike, he go and says, Brother Hitler, in the Bible, it says that God, he created the earth and heaven in Big Bang. But in the Quran, it says take date a period. And every period is about 200 million, 200 million years. You covered 200 million, million years. It says days. Days. Even the Hadith says Allah created the dirt in Saturday. Read and love. So they changed what Muhammad taught all his life to make it fit with science. Why? Because they are ashamed of their, of, their, of their books. Me as a Christian, I don't get ashamed with it because either I am a true believer or I leave it. Because the second you say you are ashamed, ashamed of it, let us say you think this is wrong. So why are you believing it then? So you believe it's wrong, but you now you want to cover it? That's when you are stupid. This is what Muhammad is saying. Allah, he created the clay in Saturday, he created the mountains in Sunday, he created the trees in Monday, he created the, 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 the things in time and labor in Tuesday. And you will see Ahmad did that, making fun of the Bible, saying that God in the Bible, he created the sun in Wednesday. <laughs> and the Muslims are laughing. Muhammad copying from the Bible. And the Bible, by the way, making it in a different way. The Bible says, God, he created light. He said, let be light, and light was. So there's light already. So creating the sun in Wednesday does not mean there's no light, or God created light already. There's other source of light. But in Islam, there's no other light except Wednesday. Actually, if you go in the Quran, you will find that the last thing Allah, he created was stars. The last thing. And by the way, this chapter contradicts other chapter in the Quran. So if you go as an example to chapter 41, verse number 12, you will see that the last thing Allah he created in his, all his creation is the lamps. The last thing ever. If you go to chapter 79, you will find it's the opposite. Totally the opposite order. I hope today we have learned something good. Feel free to download the video as soon as it is ready. I don't keep my videos for long, as you know. Tomorrow I will try to come back uh, maybe a little bit early, early in the morning, maybe by noon time. We'll see. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our Patreon. This is how you can be updated about where we will be, which link, because we changed the channel of YouTube, as you know. You know, it doesn't, for me, a channel, it doesn't mean anything. Like this channel is a small channel I have, it's have 26,000 only. Subscribe to it. But doesn't mean I will do always my broadcast here. I do. I have many channels, and we move from place to place. I am like my uh, cousin Ali Baba and uh, uh, the Suleiman who have a flying carpet in the Quran. I mean, in the Quran, a flying carpet. And yet they say to us, "This is the book of science." Or when you read about the ring of Solomon, or Solomon, he is listening to the ant, but ants are deaf. Ants are deaf. How he heard her speech. And the funny, the, the, just to show you how Muslim they, they, uh, 
Once a Muslim, he said to me, Chris Templins, in the Quran, in chapter 27, verse number 18, it says in Arabic, Namla. And according to science, it says here that one of the ants, which is a female ant, she announced the other ants that the army of Solomon is going to come and destroy you. You better hide. He said to me, how scientists today discover that the word, the one who warned the other ants are female? <laughs> you, I told him, you idiot. In Arabic, we don't have male. We call any insect, it is ant, we call it namla. We don't look at their balls. Any singular ant, we call it namla. That is our Arabic. So the word is female doesn't mean that insect is female too. Secondly, you idiot, how the ant she knew the name of Suleiman? I mean, do you see the verse says, she said to them, the ant said, O oh, ants, go to your nest, lest Suleiman. How she knew the name of Suleiman? I mean, this, okay, the ants don't talk. The ants are all, as all creatures, by the way, all creatures, they communicate. So we can say they talk, but here it says he heard her. She spoke, but ants don't talk. They communicate either by chemical or by vibration. Here it says, she said. And then how she knew the name of the king. So the ant, she said, hide, so the man is coming. Okay, I'm walking in the garden. And then an ant, she see me. She says, hide, CP is coming. How she knew that I'm CP? But when you are a fool and you are obsessed and you don't want to listen, you are in denial, you try to fabricate stories to make your false, funny, stupid belief, genius belief. So they come with the story of uh, Quran is full of science, Quran, when the Quran is the most funny, stupid book you can imagine. And actually, here you ask yourself, by the way, I mean, what we learn from this story, what is that? Look, look at the story. Allah, he taught Suleiman, brother, uh, 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 you know, uh, the language of the birds. Okay, how Allah, he taught him the language of the birds, and then later, two seconds after, he is listening to the ants. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh, people, we're taught the language of the birds. Okay, so Allah, he taught him language of the birds. How he is understanding the ants? When I say stupidity is amazing, I, you know, it, it's amazing. So imagine you go to school to, lo to learn the language of cats, and then you go out speaking with the donkeys. And then what we learn from this? In the service of Solomon, we mobilized his troops. Okay, his troops have what? Genie, human and bird. Hmm? So the man have an army of chickens. Shaitan and a human and birds are the army of Suleiman. What is the story? Muhammad he took this story it's from the from the Jewish. You know this is this is it's called there is a book. It's called the Legion of the Jews. You can search it. You can download it for free. The Legion of the Jews. You will die laughing about it. This is Legion. Muhammad he took them as it is from the he put them in the Quran. Those stories the Jews they tell to their kids that Suleiman he used to have a flying carpet. He have a ring. He control it. He a magical ring. Uh, he had a flying horse. Uh, I mean. All stories. He married a woman, she's half genie, she's half a human, like Holy Buddha. Shaitan, he took the ring of Solomon when he went to the bathroom, he came to his wife and he, he appeared to her as his real Suleiman. She gave him the mic, sorry, the, what mic? <laughs> mic. She gave him the, the, the ring 
because she thought this is her husband, and then he wore the ring, and they became the king, and then he kicked out Suleiman, and then Suleiman, he worked as a porter, and then one day, he was carrying a fish for a guy who, buy, who bought fish, and then the guy, he told him what I should pay you, he said, give me a fish, I'm hungry. So he gave him a fish, he opened the fish, took me to eat it, he found his ring. This is Islam. Yet, they want to convince you that this is a religion from God. And as always I say, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Hmm? If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. We don't keep them. Later you will ask me, where is this video? I'm telling you, it's not going to be here. So after hour or two you better download it and subscribe to those who download my videos so always can find them in case you don't care to download because you are lazy and you know what you better download them maybe you can learn the language of the birds so you can speak like Suleiman to the ants and to the rats and to the cats and maybe they can hire you as a translator in the zoo oh la la amazing Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. And we are happy for Ahmed. And more Ahmed will leave Islam today and tomorrow and every day. Glory to the Lord. We pray that Ahmed will accept the Messiah as soon as possible to be saved. Thank you. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.